than that by the people I didn't sell, but eventually they came in and bought. Okay, by doing the things that I told you that I do. Okay, if you do this as a, a professional salesperson, because the only time that you're working in the car business, the only if I could get, I mean, even three hours a day out of a car salesperson, I'd be a happy man when I have any of my stores. And I guarantee you, if you could get three hours of work out of you a day, then they'd be happy people. He'd be a happy manager. Because let me tell you, the only time that you're working is with your with a customer or on the phone with the customer. Okay? I don't want you to get drawn in because the way, the way I was successful in the car business, I didn't wait for things to happen. Didn't I tell you that just like this, this owner that, that, I, that I'm very proud to be here working with and for? You, obviously, he's a type that doesn't wait for things to happen. He makes them happen. And his community and the dealership and everything. I didn't wait for customers to come on the lot. I'm very proud to be a car salesperson. Okay. So you just said proud. If you're not proud of what you do, then you should be doing it. Exactly. So I, every, everywhere I go in life as a salesperson, everywhere I go through a McDonald's drive-thru, I ask them, what kind of car are you driving? Do you or do you, know, or do you have any friends that might be in the market for a, an automobile? Okay? I know that eight out of every 10 people that walk this North American continent either are in the market for a car or they know someone that is. And I knew as a salesperson, if I waited, and I had the luxury, when I first got in the business, I was at a high volume store, okay? So I didn't have to do a lot of these things, but then I went to Warrensburg, Missouri, that you've heard stories about, that I told you about, that there wasn't a lot of traffic, okay? So I knew if I was going to make money, I had to do my own, I, I mean, I had to, I, I sit there back in the day, and I would actually open the phone book, and I'd start dialing this smile. And I guarantee you, at least one out of ten people that I called, I got them in there. Okay? I didn't sell every one of them I got in there. Okay? But my averages went up. Where I mean, I, I got to where out of 20 phone calls, I was selling at least two to three cars. Okay? I don't sit around and wait for things to happen. It's, as a salesperson, we're gamblers. Alright? We're betting on ourselves. And if no one has enough confidence, and if you don't have enough confidence in yourself, Okay, then the car business won't be for you. And everyone in this room has it in them. It's just if I can pull it out of you, and if you choose to use the tools that I give you. Okay, but I'm gambling my, because back in the day, they didn't give you a guarantee. <laughs> okay, now this, there was a gentleman today that came in here, very, very, I mean, educated gentleman, everything like that, but actually, and that's why he left, because his main concern was, well, uh, I was told that you get $13 an hour, uh, no matter what, or whatever. Okay. If you were concerned, okay, because I don't think it is at this time, I think you get minimum wage at least. I can guarantee you that. But I never even had that guarantee. They only did that a few years ago. I mean, it's been about 15 years ago, I believe, or so. But it used to be just strictly commissioned. So I was gambling myself every day. Okay, that I know I got to sell a car if I'm going to make any money. I don't go to work to make any money. I don't lie to my customers. This customer, I'm here to make money. I know you don't go to work not to make money, do you? Do you? Okay. So everything we do, if you sit and wait for, if you want to be an average salesperson, then do or say the things that all of you've seen them do. Don't, don't make it about building relationships, okay? But if you make it towards about building relationships, and then you don't wait for people to come on that lot, and you don't buy into these guys just sitting around, whatever, just waiting for customers to hit the lot, because that's not working. That don't work for me, okay? Be on the phones, call the people, be out prospecting, be working. And this, this you have a luxury here. This is one of the, there's not too many dealers now. There's a few of them. They're getting a, a wave now. They're, they're, get, they're catching the digital age as they are here, here to stay, too. Okay, so they even let you do your Facebook here. But I guarantee you, if you're going to be playing Castleville and Yoville all day, that ain't going to work. Right? But if you're on their social networking, everyone here needs to get digital. Okay? It's not that hard to learn. I don't mind sitting up after and teaching you how to do it. But you need to get on YouTube. You need to get on Google Plus. You need to get on, uh, I mean, uh, what, what else we got? We got Yelp. 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 You need to get on uh, Facebook. I mean, there's many, many more of them. Twitter, LinkedIn, all of these things. There's one called um, Names, N A Y M Z. That, well, when you put a post there, it posts it on a bunch of your different social networks. Okay? And it gives you a reputation score, the whole deal. There's one that's called Newsly, N E W S L E. Okay. I know that. I don't know how to spell it. 